project I have got going is going from the factory, not the factory, but the small non-boosted <laughs> single output ma or master cylinder that is completely unsafe in this big old three-quarter ton truck to a boosted dual master cylinder with the proportioning valve. I'm hoping all this will work out. Um, you know, ran into a couple fitment problems, but we're addressing that as we speak. This is the original mounting plate off of my travel wall, and this is one off of a, I believe it's a 74 travel wall that I found in the junkyard that I got the master cylinder and brake booster off of. Um, kind of fitted up a little bit, and some things are close, so first thing I did was take a template, well, of course this goes here, was there, got a couple sets out of myself. So I took and made a template to see how close we were to the fitment here. Notice there's going to be some stuff that's going to have to get cut out and move, but for the most part, it fit would fit pretty close. So I took that, cut this out. This is going to be for the back of the cab, of course. That's made sure that's the last thing you want to do is fit this the wrong way. And I got here, it would have for it to be mounted flat, remove a piece of this, I haven't got everything finished yet, but I just want to show you where I'm at. So, I do a little more grinding it looks like down here on the bottom to get that angle right, or at least I might have to end up bending to get it to fit. And, put some more plate there. Get it to be flat. I'm just trying. I was trying to do this without any type of welding having to be done. And well, I'm going to, but just want to show that it can be done without welding. So far, I've used very simple hand tools. To use a grinder, drill, and a chisel to get everything done so far. And that's where I'm at. Okay, and here is final product for haven't been doing a good job updating. But I took that piece that I had earlier, um, cut it to fit, and welded it in. You could have just kept it with, it would have been fine just leaving the, the bolts through and using them to fasten everything together. It would have worked just fine. But I went, so I have a welder, went ahead and welded it up. I haven't done welding for a long time, so about three years. Um, not phenomenal just using my little Hobart 180 with um, with uh, flux core um, it's not great but this is not a structural piece and even if it was I think it would probably work fine it's not too bad though now one thing I did um, was I welded the um, nuts in place first I used great eggs is what I had not necessary Five would have been more than sufficient, but I had eight in the house laying around, so that's what I used. But just took a bunch of these larger nuts and put over it to keep the spatter from screwing up my threads. So the threads are all still nice. A little bit of heat I checked already. Everything fits, so this one's got a little bit of spatter on it somehow, and it's one little tight spot, but it still screws down to it. Also, whenever I welded up the back side when I was putting on, I got a little too much heat. I said, I'm learning again pretty much to weld. And I uh, forgot about the heat and bent it a little bit. So I braced it down good, trying to see if I can't get it back to its original condition. If it's an issue, see if I can't get some oxy and shrink it back into place. But we'll see if it has conformed back to its original position here in a minute. Okay, well, it did bend a little, still is a little bent, a little warpage there. You can see a little bit right there. Um, so I really want to take taken heat shrink that, but I think that should still bolt. Nothing else, it'll make a, you know, a good ceiling surface. Now on the back side, this was the first welding I did, so please don't judge me on it. But that's why I welded the back side, just to try and get a little bit into it, just to see what it is. That's where I bent it. Um, 
did get good penetration, so I went ahead and welded the back, the front as well. So I was just trying to learn. I don't have a lot of scrap. Then uh, I just welded three bolts here to make the studs for it to fit on. I said, I'll take and clean it up. Might run. I don't know if I'm going to or not. Piece overlaps there. And I'm see if I might cut that off, grind it off, and then see if I might weld it just to make it one piece. I will take and finish metal, metal work all of this just so I've got a good flat surface for everything here. But that's where I'm at now. Okay, and here is the finished product. Well, sort of finished product. Got the master cylinder and brake booster off of the 73. Adapted to the firewall, firewall mount of my 60. Next thing I have to do is to either modify the brake pedal to accept this, or probably would be easier is to modify my modify the rod here to accept this. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do exactly. I haven't gone that far, but I'll figure it out. So it shouldn't be too hard. That's the pretty much the last thing I have to do to get this put on is to modify it so actually the mass cylinder will hook up to the brake pedal. And once I get all that figured out, I will document it further. All right. It bolts up. Didn't warp it too much. Seems to fit pretty good. Uh, now, see if I can get the master cylinder and booster bolted up. First fitment issue. It looks like it looks like the oil uh, filler cap is in the way. Um, this probably should be able to get solved. So the time being, just so I can get it fitted by just taking it off, and should fit. We'll see. Bolts up, it sets in place. The um, only fit issue I have found is the oil filler cap. See if I can't find one that'll fit it. Smaller vent cap. If not, I'll just cut it down and see if I can't do some welding or, or refit it. Okay, see if I can't get this in focus here. Focus, dang it. Focus. Alright. So, here's what I'm dealing with. The shaft is about three or four inches too long. I should be able to cut it just enough to thread in and still have my eyelet and then re-drill a hole in it. Sheesh. Re-thread it, re-drill. It's going to be a little bit of work, but I think it'd be better than trying to adapt the old one to this and cutting and welding and all that. So that's first up. I'm going to eventually take pedal assembly off, I think, so I can drill a whole bigger hole for this bolt. But that's the next step. So, oh, it was this long. I cut it down, re-threaded it. Now I'm going to test fit it, see if, hopefully I didn't cut too short. Pretty certain I didn't, but measured about six times before I made sure. Let's go test fit it, see if it works. Alright, so, got it. Shortened, fit, and now I just need to mark the pedal and see if I need to, I'll probably have to take it and pull the whole pedal assembly off and re-drill a hole. So that's going to be a fun. And then I need to take and cut those two back brackets off. So that's what we're doing next. Okay, so I pulled the pedal assembly out. i got two things I'm going to have to do here. First, I'm going to drill a 7 16 hole through right there. First thing I did was, of course, I uh, while it was in there, I took a scribe and in the center of the hole, the mounting hole there on the uh, brake pad or the brake rod. I just scribed the inside to get a general area about where I wanted it. Then found the center, scribed a V there, and center punched it from my drill bit. The next thing we we'll have to do is cut this uh, mount, this bracket off here. Because to me, it looks like it 
Okay, so anyways, it looks like the previous owner or someone in the past of this truck had welded this piece on here um, to adapt it to the half ton master cylinder that was on this truck. So I'm going to have to cut that off, grind it smooth, so that it was not going to be obstructing with my truck. That's what I got next. Okay, so there it is, 7 16 hole punched through the middle of it. Uh, ground off that tab that was there. Didn't have any primers. Actually, I had some chrome <laughs> import paint from my old Subaru. So that's what that is. Just so those guys didn't have just bare steel sticking out there. Okay, now the fun part of putting it all back together. Okay, and here is my finished product with finished grind or fin metal finish. And you're not seeing that wrong yet. It is silver. Once again, I didn't have any black spray paint or primer. So I didn't want to leave it bare metal, so I just spray painted it. Just didn't metal fix the backside. No one's gonna see it. Not too worried about it. Been a lot of work to get it done anyways. But so I'm gonna have a nice shiny piece of freaking work here, but <laughs> not usually one to grind my welds out, but that looked like crap, so at least it looks decent, a little better this way. Now let's put it on and see if she works all in one unit. Okay, so it is installed. Everything seems to be lining up pretty good. And it's on the firewall, it's hung. I haven't plumbed anything, I haven't tested it, to see if everything's working. But really that's the hard hard part's done. It's the fabrication for the for the adapter there. I mean, it doesn't look too bad from here. So it's calling it a night. Memorial or Sunday before Memorial Day. So I'm gonna call it a night. You all have a good night.